Today we're going to drive through Davis Camp RV Park here. They got the beach, all kinds of excitement going on here. Yeah, a couple of places to dock your boat. Not dock it, but drop it in. So let's go take a look at the park. Here we go. In 1983, the first phase of development consisted of the RV park, which has become very popular with tourists who frequent the area. Some of the houses that were left were converted to use as vacation cottages or for staff housing. These two are popular destination spots and must be reserved in advance. Beach camping was developed to provide showers and restroom facilities in addition to the shaded areas that were built to support the barbecue grills, the tables, the playgrounds, and other amenities. The fishing pier has been created for the handicapped use. Swimming beaches were developed and are maintained to protect the swimmers from the boat traffic on the river. Boat launches were installed as a response to tremendous need for support facilities of this type of recreation. Future plans are in the works to offer nature trails to promote hiking and culture exhibit of pyroglyphics and perhaps even a community hall to accommodate the ever-increasing demand for recreation in this rapid-growing area. Today we took a quick drive through here. You know, we didn't want to pay anything. We tried to get a hold of the management, the county here. First, they seemed like they were willing to sit down and talk to us, and then ended up being a whole bunch of red tape. We needed to talk to this guy, and to that guy, and to this one. So, you know, we're not going to that much trouble. So, they let us drive through without paying to get in here, check it out. You know, they didn't want us walking around, seeing what was going on, things like that. So, we didn't do any of that. But we did take a drive through here. You know, it's a pretty nice campground. It's pretty crowded on the weekends. Uh, they do have rentals here, which, you know, the price sheet there that we're going to show you will show you what the prices and stuff like that are. But uh, other than that, not a whole lot. They have some full hookups. They have some other items here. They had a bathhouse. Uh, I didn't see a laundry mat, but there might have been one there. You know, we'll read through and let you know what all else is here if I go to their website and check it all out. So uh, we'll leave you here. So this is another choice. If you're looking to come out to the Laughlin River Run or anything like that, you're right here. This is probably the closest thing on the Arizona side where we did another did another video uh, just a few days ago that was on the river side. Now that's on the Nevada side. So it depends if you want to be right up against the casinos, you want to stay at the other one. If you want to be over here more towards the river, you know, they used to have concerts out there on that stage. Don't know if they're going to be doing that ever again or not. They did that a couple years ago. So, you know, this year we didn't have any river run here. Next year, I don't think we're going to have a 2021, but, uh, you know, 2022 things will probably come back. Uh, Hopefully. We'll, <laughs> we'll have a lot more information on that at that time or as it gets closer. But we're going to go ahead and leave you right here on the Colorado River. So thanks for coming along today. Hope you enjoyed it. This is a great campground, it looks like. So subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Share us with your family and friends. Give us a thumbs up. Shows us that you care. 
ring that bell for notifications, and we'll see you on the next video. Don't forget about the Facebook page. Don't forget about our Instagram account. Stay informed. Catch you later. Bye-bye.